Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with the GEE Tech A10. Friends, I have more or less got a brand new printer. I had some help from uh, Chris at 3D Addicted, and he showed me some stuff I could use. And a fella has a YouTube channel, it's Verts Hobbies, and he's got a sweet set of firmware updates that I put into the printer, and oh my gosh, completely new machine. So, my friends, let me show you what we got. All right, friends, so once I updated the firmware, everything has started working better. Uh, it's more smooth. The measurements are better. The display has all kinds of neat things inside it. Uh, check this out. If you hit print from media anymore, when you go down, if you are on a longer file, it actually scrolls across the screen, which is unbelievably slick. The firmware is all built on Marlin 2.0, and Vert does a great job explaining all the things you have to do to get it to your printer. Uh, I actually flashed it using Kira, which was something I had never done before. Lots of cool things you can do all the way through PID tuning, PID tune the bed, unconditional stop. Lots of smart things built into this firmware that hopefully someday every company will be building in on their own. Alrighty friends, so as I mentioned, this was all for the GE Tech and Chris over at 3D Addicted, he gave me a lot of tips and also aimed me towards Vert's hobbies. Uh, you guys need to subscribe to these guys. I will put links in the video. Uh, so many cool things added to the firmware to make the GE Tech A10M or A10 and A10M completely different printers. Vert teaches us how to use Visual Studio Code instead of the Arduino IDE to actually create it with a simple script so that your firmware can be adjusted for several different printers with one file. He keeps it up to date and he also tweaks it to make sure that the features are super slick. When Visual Studio Code compiles, it actually gives you a hex file. And by having that hex file, what's cool is you can use Kira to actually send the flash to your device, which was super slick and made upgrading the A10 even easier. Now I mentioned Cura, but that also brings me to the next thing I changed, which was I have started using the Prusa Slicer. Uh, Chris from 3D Addicted mentioned how cool it was, and he sent me a configuration, which I'll get you a link to as well. And I am adjusting it, and it is pretty darn slick. Since switching to Vert software for the A10 and the Prusa Slicer, uh, my prints are coming out really, really slick and smooth. So I've been using this gold filament, and with the Prusa, it is coming out super smooth, even though I'm only using 0.3 millimeter layers. The only thing that's different between this and Kira is I'm not at the moment able to send it via USB. I'm doing it with a card, which I'm adapting to as well, and I showed you earlier how the card actually shows the whole name, which is pretty darn slick. Just to recap, loving the A-Town, and it's all thanks to the cool firmware that I got from Vert site. Appreciate all the cool work you're doing, and I'm going to put a link up here so that people can find you. And I also got the help from Chris at Addicted 3D. Friends, these guys are really helpful. I'll put a link up here so you can track him down as well. Make sure you give those guys a look and support them as well. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.